Hey everybody, Elf Dog Forge here. Uh, just got our new forge design in, new ribbon burner design. Uh, what you probably can't tell is the forge is running and wonder why, because usually you guys are used to uh, the big motors running and everything else. Well, there she is. Uh, just in testing phase, I haven't got everything set up and dialed in to where, you know, I put it all on the wall, mount it, make it look nice and pretty. I'm a little low CD about that. Everybody knows. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm running, what is it right now? 5 PSI on my uh, new ribbon burner design and a just over 400 almost 500 square inch forge um, oval design custom built spent last week week and a half doing it um, but just to show you guys here let's stick on the gloves so I can and I don't have the handle or the door on right now it's still um, drying but that'll be coming up and I'll show you guys uh, another video of the finalized forge but here she is oh I gotta step away from that yep yeah. that's hot um, we can go down to two or three psi easy on a 30 thou burner guys come on 30 thou burner and we are pushing forge temps on just over 400 square inch it's unheard of um, gas usage is way down visit us at alphadogforge.com um, we'll have uh, more videos and pictures coming of the new forge coming uh, we're getting into forge design now and we will be selling them at pretty much cost with a barely a little bit of labor because I want you guys and I want new people to come into this with something they can actually use and not, you know, buy this crap with whatever's online. I've seen them and it's like a joke. Um, but we're still working on pricing, getting everything set. Uh, suppliers, we just hooked up with, with one of the biggest uh, refractory makers in the world. So, um, cost is way down there and we're offering cost of refractory already at a low low price online um, soon we're going to be having uh, replaceable floors for your forge for if you're doing forge welding you can push it in push it out pull in pull out whatever you want to say um, dirt cheap and highly resistant to flux, which is the big thing, people. And also I'm working on a new design to where you'll have 100% airflow around not only your forge, but the floor of your forge. So um, we're working on a couple CAD designs with uh, raising the floor up a little bit. So when your, your flame swoops, it comes up under it and that's copyright. Alpha Dog Forge. Um, how to say that? Anyways, uh, yeah, super quiet, guys. She's running. Hell, we'll sit in here all night and talk and have fun. Um, probably gonna have two or three more forges going in here soon for classes. I want to get some kids into it. So, uh, yeah, she's a beaut. Take care, guys. As always, for John, stay safe. And by the way, be careful when you're if you if you decide to make your own forge. You got gas going on. Um, I don't know about you, but I use 100 pound propane tanks, and it's easily just it's easily capable of hurting yourself, hurting someone. If you don't know what you're doing, do a, do a little bit of knowledge. Um, 
last thing I want is to somebody to be killed because they're trying to build a gas forge. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please em email me at uh, info at alphadogforge.com and I will personally reply to any of your emails that you send. Um, if you guys have any questions, please email me at alphadogforge.com. Um, we have more than one way to get a hold of us, so we are always here to help uh, me and my partner. So, anyways, take care, guys. Forge on, stay safe once again. See you guys.